all of the laws of God have to be applied. Right. Except this one law was done away with because we were committing sin after the sacrifice was made. Right. We were still going out committing sin. This is why Christ had to come to show us that in this flesh, which is weak, you can perfect this flesh if you keep the laws of God. Oh, if you walk Lord. according to the laws of God and apply what God has written, you can perfect this flesh. Hey, get, let get, because we, when he first came up, you pulled Hebrews chapter 7. Let me get that. Go back to Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 11, I believe. Listen up, bro. Here you go, here you go, here, here, here go your, uh, I'm dealing with the first scripture that you pulled. Listen up, bro. So I'm dealing with the first scripture that you pulled. That you pulled. The first scripture that you pulled. This is what you, because initially when you came up, we said, or the brother said, the brother said, what scripture do you have to prove? Listen up, brothers. Listen, brothers. Brothers. No, no, I'm brothers. No, they're right, man. No, no, they are right. They're right. You know why? Brothers. Brothers. Here you go, bro. Fifty-two year brother. What's your name, bro? What's your name? My name Roddy. No, I just want to say something. And what's your name, bro? I want Eli. Eli, he's good. that's a good name. Want to say something okay, you say what you say. Say what you want. No, say what you want. Go ahead. I understand y'all because I know that we were put here in a foreign land and our culture. I'm not denying that. No, listen, okay, let's, 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 listen, let's listen to Ronnie real quick. Our culture and everything was wrong. I'm not denying that. Now, I met, let's I listen met to deacons. Him. Hey, I met, hey, listen. Eli, let's listen to him. I met white deacons that went to the Holy Land and back then they didn't write. They, they drew up things they seen. They seen brothers with hairstyles like that. Hairstyles like his. And he... And when he came, and he came to me, and he said he was so sorry for what his people done and what they stolen away from us. So when I hear y'all talking, I may not be at y'all level, but see, I understand that y'all being enlightened, being enlightened from a colonialism, from what we living in the land that ain't even right. ours. Practice of culture and practice. Religion. I don't even celebrate holidays. Right, all praise. Because it's all pagan. All these right. sun gods that we worship Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we give homage to pagan gods. Right. I understand that this is not who I'm supposed to be, but I'm listening. Because they, they, and our they job sharing something. is to help you become what you're supposed yeah. to become. Sorry. Now, Eli. I want to say this. Okay, say it. I'm not denying what he said. Okay. My thing is, I'm over here trying to talk to him. I sit here and I let him talk. I sit here and let him talk. I didn't interrupt him like that. I didn't really interrupt him like that. Now you want to sit here and call somebody the devil? Bro, you don't even know me. You it's okay, bro. No. Hey. I'm it's, just saying, I'm just saying. We, 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 saying we're, we're reading the words of the Bible. Because what he what here's, here's the thing. What he read to you, he read to you, if you, let me ask you this. Do you understand? Where at he was reading in the Bible and what was going on with the history? Yeah, in Isaiah. Uh, no, no, no. Here in Acts. That's Act, yeah, that was Acts we just read, right? That was Acts. But you know, so there was a situation where Paul was he was dealing, and he explained the situation by what Paul was experiencing and what was being ex what was being expressed right here today. But besides the fact you're listening, all praise to the Most High. Let's deal with. We still dealing with fringes, cause that's what you that's what your your argument is that even though you don't care that we wear fringes, you said we don't have to wear fringes. So when you, when you initially came up, he said, What verse do you have to prove that? You pulled Hebrews chapter seven. Let's go through that and see if that has anything to do with fringes. Bring it up. I'm gonna read it from the top. Hebrews chapter seven, verse eleven. Bring it up. And therefore perfection were by the Levitical priesthood. So the, Le the Levitical priests, they were set up for what? In the Old Testament, why were the Levitical priests set up? They had, that was by God. Yeah, but for what 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 purpose? What what purpose were they set up for? Take them up. Huh? For what? They were set up because the people had to bring their bring their uh their sacrifices to the Levitical priests so the Levitical priests could go and make the sacrifice for them. Bring it the up. The Levitical priests were the ones that went to the Lord for the congregation of Israel. Right. That's why the Levitical priests were set up. So here, the Bible is explaining. Read it again. If therefore perfection were by the Levitical priesthood. It says, if therefore perfection was by the Levitical priesthood. Come on. For under it, 
the people received the law. Under the Levitical priesthood, the people received the law. The law was received under, Levitic, under the Levitical priesthood. Aaron and his sons were the Levitical priests. Right. Read. What further need was there that another priest should rise after the order of Melchizedek? It says, if the perfection was under the Levitical priest that was doing Moses in Aaron's time, what therefore would there be need for another priest to be raised up? Why would another priest have to be raised up if the if, if under the Levitical priest there was perfection? Right. Showing us that under the under the Levitical priest there was not perfection of what? Sacrifice. Right. Right. Sacrifice. There right. was no because our people were bringing turtle doves and going, hey, I'm gonna give my sacrifice to the Lord. I sin. I committed sin, I'm taking a sacrifice. To the Levitical priest, hey, to, hey, go to the Lord for me. I, 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 I sin. Then they turn right back around three hours later and commit the same sin. Mm. There was no perfection under the law that was under the Levitical priest. Come right. on, read on. And not, and not be called after the order of Aaron. Come on, you but, see that? And not be called after the order of Aaron. Read here. For the priesthood being changed. There is made a necessity of change, a change also of the law. It says, now therefore the Levitical priesthood being changed, there also needs to be what? A change of what? A change also of the law. A change also of the law. We're going to find out what law is being referenced right here. Read on. For he of whom these things are spoken pertaineth to another tribe. Read of which no man gave attendance at the altar. It says, to whom these things being spoken of pertaining to, he pertains to another tribe, meaning he's not from the tribe of the Levites. He's from a different tribe, which is the tribe of Judah. Yes, right. Read on. But it is evident, it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. It's evident that Christ came out of Judah. Now, you put this in reference to the law of fringes, but I'm showing you what this is going into. It's not going into the law of fringes. We're going. It, it's not done yet. I'm going to show you. Christ came, and it is dealing with a law. But we're going to find out. This is going to determine whether we should keep the law of fringes or whether it is done away with. Right. Whether we should keep the law of sacrifice and or whether it's done away with, and what laws should we be keeping right now according to what we're reading. Right. So. Because of the Levitical priesthood being changed, is also a change in what? Read it again. For it is evident that our... Read up one verse. Verse 13. For he of whom these, these things are spoken pertaining to another tribe, of which no man gave attendance at the altar. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Christ came from the tribe of Judah, read. Of which, of which tribe? Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. And it is yet far more evident that after the, the similitude of Melchizedek, uh -huh. there arises up another priest uh -huh. who is made not after the law of a carnal commandment. So this priest that's going to be raised up is not made after the law of a carnal commandment, read, but after the power of an endless life. So he's made after the power of an endless life. Read, for he testifieth, thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Read on. For there is verily a disannulling, a disannulling, dis thank you, disannulling of the commandment going, going before for the weakness and unprofitable thereof, profitableness thereof. So there is a disannulling of the thing that was before. So this disannulling is going into what? What is being spoken of? This whole context is talking about animal sacrifice. Yes, there is being a disannulling of that animal sacrifice. Come on. Finish that. That's 18. Yes, finish that. That was all 18. Thank you. Now, go from now to Romans chapter 8 and verse 3. Yeah. Romans 8 and 3. This is showing you what you pulled in reference to fringes or the law being done away with is not talking about the law of fringes or all the laws of God. It's Right, it's dealing with a specific law that it's dealing with. Listen up, family. I'm gonna show y'all something. Y'all are read Romans chapter eight, verse three. Come on. For what the law could not do, it says what the law of sacrifice could not do, and that it was weak through the flesh. It was weak through the flesh. Why? Because we would go and sacrifice, 
And then we say we committed adultery. Brother committed adultery. Brother committed fornication or whatever. We go sacrifice. The next thing you know, we back doing our thing again. Right. We steal. Brother go steal. He bring a dang old turtle dove. Oh, try to sacrifice. I stole him. Mean, you know, the Lord forgive me. Then he go right back out. And then he steal again. Right. Because the flesh is weak. The right. law of sacrifice could not uh, 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 perfect the flesh. Read. God sending his own son. So now God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh. In the likeness of sinful flesh. Christ came in the likeness of sinful flesh. Like we all have right now. Read. And for sin. Come on. And for what? And for sin. Condemned sin in the flesh. That the righteousness of the law. The righteousness of what? Of the law. The righteousness of the law. Come on. Might be fulfilled in us. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us. Hebrews 10 and 1. Bring that the righteousness up. of the law might be fulfilled in us. So all of the laws of God have to be applied. Right. Except this one law was done away with because we were committing sin after the sacrifice was made. Right. We were still going out committing sin. This is why Christ had to come to show us that in this flesh, which is weak, you can perfect this flesh if you keep the laws of God. Oh, if you walk Lord. according to the laws of God and apply what God has written, you can perfect this flesh. You can perfect your life in this flesh. Hebrews 10 and 1. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 1. For the law having a shadow of good things to come. So the law was just a shadow. The law of what? The law of sacrifice was only a shadow of good things to come. Those good things to come are what? Jesus Christ. Right, right. Jesus Christ is the good thing that had to come. Read. And not the very image of the things. Uh -huh. Can never with those sacrifices. Could never with what? Those sacrifices. So we, the sacrifices, y'all following me? Brothers and sisters, the sacrifices that we used to make, like our forefathers used to make. I'm going to show you that your forefathers used to make. These are, you know I'm old, I can't bend down, but so far now. <laughs> your forefathers used to make. These are your forefathers. You know of the Aztec, the Aztecas? All right. What are, the, what are some other names? Uh, the Incas. Those are your forefathers. Mayans. Y'all familiar with that history? Those are your forefathers. I want to finish. We got to finish the script. Come on, now let me finish the script for you. But this is going into the same things that your forefathers did. Why? Because your forefathers is our forefathers. Right. We got the same forefathers. Right. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that's our forefathers. All right? But finish that. Can never with those sacrifices, which they offer year by year, year by year, we used to offer these sacrifices. Come on. Continually make the commas thereunto perfect. It could not make us perfect. That's why there had to be a disannulling of it. And Christ had to come. Because animal sacrifice could not make us perfect. Read. Right. Right. For then would they have ceased. Excuse me, read again. For then would they not have ceased to be offered. Uh -huh. He said they have they would not have ceased to be offered. If they were could make us perfect, then they wouldn't have ceased to be offered. Read. Because that the worshippers, once purged, should have had no more conscience of sin. So we should have forgot sin if that was going to make us perfect. But we didn't. We still remembered how to go down the street and steal. We still remembered how to commit murder, how to commit adultery, how to commit fornication. Those things were still in the mind, which, oper which made the flesh operate according thereto. Read. But in those sacrifices. In those what? Those sacrifices. Wow. There is a remembrance again made of sins every year. So we still remember those sins. But now, because Christ came, he did away with the law of sacrifice. He became the ultimate sacrifice for the nation of Israel. Because when you commit sin right now, do y'all do y'all go take turtle doves to the priest? No. Ain't nobody taking no turtle doves to no priest. What about you? You don't take no uh, turtle doves to the priest, do you? No. Why? Because that's a custom and a tradition that was done away with by Christ, and we don't even know how to do it. We don't even remember it. Right. But we remember Christ. Right. We remember Christ being laid on the cross. Right. Being put to death, and he did no sin. We remember that. Right. So now when we're in the midst of our sin, or we're about to commit sin, we can think about the man that gave his life for the nation of Israel. Right. A black man that gave his life for the nation of Israel, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. And guess what? 
he had on fringes. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Christ himself had on fringes. Wake him up. Why do you think she wanted to touch the border of his garment? What's on the border? What's on the border of his garment? She felt like she could be healed if she just touched the border of his garment. Why? What's, what's, what's so important about the border of his garment? What do you think is so important about the border of Christ's garment? If you don't know, say it's fine to say, I don't, I don't even know what you're talking about, bro. Like, beats the hell out of me. What, what's so important? I'm going to show you what's, what's important about the border of Christ's garment. Hold that. Now go back to uh, numbers. Go back to numbers. Go back to numbers. Here's what's, what's so important about the border of Christ's garment. He understood the keeping of his father's commandments. Read this. Numbers chapter 15 verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. You see that brother and sister? The scripture says, no, that's not yours. That's that brother right there. The scripture says, speak unto the children of Israel. Look on the back of the flyer. Look on the back of the flyer. Where do you see yourself at? Look at the 12 tribes of Israel. Where, where is your name at? Are you today called Mexican? Is that what, is that what they call you today? That's not a nationality. If you read beside that, God calls you an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. That's right. That's right. Your forefather name is Issachar, not Mexico. That's your real forefather name. We got to remember the slavery that happened to us, brothers and sisters. This is why it's so important for you to learn your nationality. Read it from the top again. Speak unto the children of Israel. You are the children of Israel. You're not Mexicans. You are Israelites from the tribe of Issachar. And beg them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. God said make them fringes in the borders of your garments. Slavery is today. That's why you got our people out here breaking God's commandments. It says let them make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Watch this, sister. I want to show you something. I want to show you something. Take a look. Take a good look right here. Look down here real quick. Come in. Look at this. This is your people. Make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Thanks. I'm gonna read Throughout their generations. It says make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. Watch this. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Now I want to show you something. Come hold this up for me. Somebody hold this right here. Come here. Let me show you something. Read this again. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes of the borders of their garments throughout I their the bottom part. Hold on. Yes, sir. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So how do we know that these are your forefathers? How do we know that they came in keeping the commandments? Because they're doing what was said in the Bible. These are called fringes. You see this? And on the fringes, you see that? There's a border of blue. When your forefathers came here, when they came here, they left, they left the Persian Mede captivity. You can put this down. They left the Persian Mede captivity. They came to this land, which is now called America, then known as Osiris in the Bible, to keep God's commandments. That's why they came here. That's why when you look at your history, you see them living uh, in the teepees. They lived, they lived, they had the teepees. They were keeping what's known as the Feast of Tabernacles that's coming up now. Your forefathers, they left us in the Persian Mede captivity. We went back to Jerusalem to rebuild Jerusalem. But your forefathers, they sailed the seas and came here to this land. And they cultivated the land until the oppressor came and put them in slavery. That's how we know that you're not Mexican, you Israel. Right. You an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. Right. That's, That's your right. forefathers. That's your foremothers. You are God's chosen people. Deuteronomy 7 and 6 again. Right. You yeah. are God's chosen people. And you have to wake up and remember that you are God's 
chosen people. Right. Never let nobody insult you and say you are Mexican. What, what, is, what does uh, Mexican mean as a term for it? I forget it. It's a term for it. But fine, if you find it, let me know. But you are not Mexican. That's the name of that place. It's not the name of a nationality. Right. God says you're an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. Right. Your forefather Issachar, they split and they came here into this land. Read Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Yep. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. He says you are a holy people unto God. Read. The Lord thy God had chosen thee. He chose your forefathers. He chose the 12 tribes of Israel. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, Simeon, Zebulon, Gad, Reuben, Asher, Issachar. That's your forefather. Nathali. Those are your brothers. Right. But today, they call me Negro. Negro, right? Me, Negro? Yeah, that's what they call me, Negro. They call you Mexican. That's not so. God says, me, I'm Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's right. You, Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. Right. Me and you, brothers. Right, that's right. Brother, blood brothers. Right. You, you understand right. what I'm saying? Me, you, we are blood. We are family. That's right. Not from how you say it? But, Una familia. Say it again. Una familia. Una familia. We are family. But they have separated us. Made us think, no, don't like them. They Mexican. Ah, they Mexican. Don't like them. They black. Negroes. Separate them. Divide them up. You know why? Because when we come together, when we come together, they can't stop us, brother. Yes, they Lord. cannot stop us. We are, we are no longer be on the bottom. No longer will they walk over us and we accept them walking on our backs. No longer can they teach our kids the garbage that they teach our kids in school. No longer do we need Section 8 food stamps. We don't need these things no more. We don't need America when we come together. No, no, no. God, do that in Zephaniah 201. God told us to do something. He said, you, Issachar, you, Judah, Come together. Right. Come together, make one big fist. We knock anybody out. Right. Read this. This is Zephaniah 2 or Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Read gather yourselves together. Yay! Gather together, all nation, not desire. The Bible is asking us to gather together, all nation, not desire. We are people that are not desired in America today. That's right. You think they like hearing us stand up here on the corners and tell them that they are the damn devil the Bible speak of? Yeah, right. You think that they like hearing the fact that they have oppressed a people for over 400 years and now they want to take it out of the school so our kids don't learn it? Like you it think they want to hear that? No. Just because you don't want to hear it, if you look on the corner over here, he listening. You know why? Because he knows it's the truth. Right. The little niggas that we once had in slavery, they can now read the book. Right. Now they understand who they are. Right. Now we can come out of this condition. We are not accepting what this country has given us right. because this world belongs to us. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.